Hey guys, it's Michael from Exceed Fishing. Now, today I've got a really quick informative video for you. It's how to cure and salt your own bait. Now, I primarily use this for muleys as they don't really stay on the hook very well. They go mushy after you defrost them a few times and also they spoil really quick. So this will eliminate the use of a fridge or a freezer entirely. And you don't have to do it with muleys. You can use any bait from squid to uh, prawns, pretty much anything you can think of. Anything that retains moisture and you just remove the moisture with the salt and then it's good for weeks. So, if you say the end of the video guys, I've got a really good quick tip for anyone that's out there in Perth and yeah, just stick to the end of the video guys and you'll find out what it is. So, yeah, let's get on to curing these muleys. Okay, so this is basically all you need for curing your muleys. Now, I pretty much have a little basket with holes in it. This is where the salt and muleys are going to go. And then underneath that I have another tray to catch all the juices that will come out. And I've just got these little styrofoam blocks here. So the basket comes off the bottom a bit so it's just not sitting in the juices. So the only other things we'll need is some muleys and a big bag of pool salt. This cost me like eight bucks. And if the holes are too too wide for the um, and the rock salt can pull through, you can just get one of these cheap kitchen cloths. Put that down there, catch all the salt, and it's handy to have a little scooper for just getting the salt out. So basically, start by putting a little bit of the salt on the bottom. And after you do this guys, you can pretty much reuse the salt over and over and over again. So, it's a very inexpensive way to make your bait last longer. So just. Don't need too much on the bottom. Spread it out a bit, like so. And now, I'm going to start laying these muleys. It doesn't really matter if you put them in frozen. As long as they're straight, because it might be hard to get them back into shape once they've dried out. So just keep them nice and straight. Cool, so once you do your first layer, then we just coat it with another layer of salt. Now this did a whole kilo of muleys, so you can pretty much imagine how little salt you're actually using of that massive bag. And another good thing for the, um, to use with the pool salt is if you've got some burley, some nasty burley you made and you want it to last, put some couple handfuls of rock salt in it will stop that bacteria, stop it from spoiling and main thing is it will stop it from smelling so. also another good tip is you can use this um, if you're going out on the boat the next day and you want some ice for the esky just dissolve some rock salt in warm water into some containers just chuck that in the freezer will be perfect for the next day because ice that's got salt water in it defrosts at a much colder temperature so your fish will stay much much colder much fresher and that's basically it guys don't need to go overboard you know don't need to like completely level it just like that's enough even these bits that aren't really covered it won't matter too much, it'll all dry out. So I'm gonna leave these overnight. It's currently about 6 p.m. So probably give it about 12 hours or 13 hours, come back at seven in the morning tomorrow and these should be good. So it is roughly about 10 a.m. the following day. So that is about 15 hours and our muleys are looking pretty good. But you know, if you want them to last a, like a really long time, 
you'd have to have these drying out completely and then you can always rehydrate them but as I'm using them tonight you know I've got them to the stage where the, the, they firmed up quite a bit and they're perfect for the, the ganks still quite flexible but look how bendy they are compared to when they were fresh so these are way more sturdy now all you need is a ziplock bag and put them in here and you can put them in with a little bit of fish oil or any type of oil it'll just like keep the skin intact better yeah. that's basically it guys after this is all done you to pretty much store them somewhere nice and cool okay so you made it to the end of the video and I hope you didn't skip to the end because that would be cheating. Next time you're out on the rocks, anyone that's in the Perth metropolitan area, look at the rocks because you know you might go home empty handed, you know, but on those rocks there's actually quite a lot of stuff you can take home. There's oysters, there's snails, there's like a variety of different things you can grab. Also, scallops. Like that's something that I found a lot of on the rocks around Perth metro area, around Fremantle. So next time, just open your eyes, have a look. You might not be catching anything, so plan B, look at the rocks. You know, take a little knife with you. There's a lot of oysters in Perth. Not many people know about this. They're really nice and sweet. Perfect just to eat raw off the rocks. So that was your quick tip. Now, catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you want notifications because YouTube won't always notify you. And catch you next time.